Hi, I'm Dave, and I'd like to take a few minutes to uh, show you how brewers are using modern liquid chromatography to make better beer. Now, the technique that they're using is called online solid phase extraction, and that's basically a technique implemented on a liquid chromatograph that, uh, that unifies one of the basic parts of the workflow, that is sample preparation, and integrates it with the separation and detection steps. The platform that they're using for that is the Thermo Scientific Ultimate 3000 UHPLC Plus system. So before we open up the instrument, I, let's just take a step back and think about what it is that the, the quality control chemist has to do in the brewing laboratory. Uh, basically, the, brew, the brewer is starting with four simple ingredients, water, starch, yeast, and a flavoring agent such as hops. And he's combining those boiling them, fermenting them, and out of those simple ingredients comes an amazingly rich and diverse beer, uh, and you can have hundreds or thousands of varieties. So uh, a sample from that process or a finished beer is brought into the QC laboratory, and of course the most obvious characteristics are going to be how does it taste, what's its aroma, how well does it ho hold a foamy head, but we can delve deeper into that and look at some of the, the complex uh, chemical entities are, that are in there and use those both to characterize a fresh beer as well as to uh, predict whether it's going to be stable and age well. Um, one group in particular of compounds that we're interested in come from the hot plant and those are called isohumolones. So the example that we're going to show for solid phase extraction is going to take uh, those isohumolones out of this complex matrix, separate, detect, and quantify them. The system that we're going to uh, implement online solid phase extraction on is the Ultimate 3000 UHPLC Plus system. This is a system that uh, includes a dual gradient pump. It includes a uh, split loop well plate sampler, a thermostated column compartment, and within here, as I'll show you later, we have the, uh, the two different column chemistries and we have a uh, six port two position switch right on the side that allows us to do column switching for the online solid phase extraction. Finally, we have a stackable detector at the bottom. Let me emphasize that the, uh, the HPLC system is just one part of a complete turnkey package that includes not only the instrumental system, but a chromatography data system, Chromillion, that has built into it very simple wizards that make it easy to set up online solid phase extraction methods. It also includes a well-written and easy to follow manual and instructions, and it also includes a Viper capillary uh, plumbing kit that includes everything that you need to plumb the system up for online solid phase extraction. So let's take a, a look at the components of the HPLC system that make it so easy to run online solid phase extraction. First of all, we have a dual gradient pump. We're going to need two pumps, one to load the solid phase extraction column, the other to, uh, to elute analytes from the analytical column, and both are built in this includes a, uh, two gradient pumps, and so we have a lot of flexibility in the chromatographic methods that we're developing. We also have a split loop well plate sampler. We have a thermostated column compartment that houses the two columns, the solid phase extraction column and the analytical column, and has uh, integrated on the side a, uh, a two position six port switching valve that will allow us to switch back and forth between the uh, sample loading column and the analytical column. And then finally, we have a stackable detector on the bottom. In this case, it's a, it's a diode array detector. Okay, let's uh, look now at how easy it is to analyze a beer sample using this method. Uh, really, all we have to do is take the beer, put it into the auto sampler vial, then into the auto sampler, and now it's ready to run. We could do this with, uh, with other samples as well. What's going to happen now is that while, uh, while the right pump is pumping through the analytical column and completing the prior separation, the left pump is going to take the sample that's drawn up by the auto sampler, load that onto the solid phase extraction column, and for a couple of minutes it's going to pump to remove the matrix including uh, sugars, alcohol, uh, oligosaccharides, proteins, 
any of the sample matrix components that we really want to get away from the separation system where they might complicate the chromatogram and eventually foul the analytical column. In the next step, the switching valve is going to switch the analytes which have now been enriched, matrix depleted, the analytes are going to be uh, pushed into the analytical column where we can separate them and detect them. Uh, during that separation step, the solid phase extraction column now can be treated with the left pump, which is a gradient pump, to uh, clean it up, to remove strongly bound components, and then equilibrate it in preparation for the next run. So let's go through and set up a method for online SPE so that uh, we can see how easy it is. I'm using the thermoscientific chromillion chromatography data system which makes this very simple because it incorporates a smart wizard that lets you with a few mouse clicks set up a method for online SPE. So we begin by uh, starting a new program. And we just assign it to the instrument here that we're using. Uh, let me point out that uh, Chromillion is a smart CDS, so it knows already what our configuration is. It knows that we have a dual gradient pump, and it knows that we have the switching valve, and therefore it, uh, it knows already that we may want to do online SPE, and it gives us that choice here. So we just choose online SPE method, say next, and really we only have three uh, very simple parameters that we have to enter into the program and they are steps for the matrix depletion time how much time do we want to allow the 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 first pump to remove the matrix components the second is the analyte breakthrough time that's uh, that's how long is it going to take if we continue to flush the solid phase extraction column how long is it going to take to actually push the analyte off of the column we, want to, we don't want to push the analyte off the column before transferring it to the analytical column. And then finally, the transfer time is how much time do we want to allot to transfer it to the analytical column. Those three things are very simply um, determined by a couple experiments beforehand. We would have done that at this point, and then we would enter those values in as we go along. And I uh, just want to point out that there's a a context sensitive help menu, one mouse click and it pulls up a schematic illustrating the main steps in this, the uh, schematic diagram for the online SPE and gives good instructions explaining what it is and how to set it up. Very handy to refer to that. And again now all we have to do is uh, choose a few boxes to let the system know exactly how we're going to set this up tell it what temperature control we want to use. Here's where we put in those three parameters and uh, I've optimized these beforehand so I can just go ahead and enter five minutes for the matrix depletion time, a time for the analyte breakthrough, the transfer time, and it automatically calculates the switching times for the valve. So once we've entered those three parameters, we really don't have to do anything else. It knows uh, when to switch the valve. It's going to know when to uh, run the gradient programs for each pump. We're really all finished at this point, and the rest of the program really is just the basic things that you would enter in for detection and, uh, and, the, and the final method. So let's recap what we've seen today. We've been able to take a very complex sample, beer, and use online solid phase extraction to look at a particular set of compounds in there that are critical for beer quality, taste, aroma, stability, uh, and foaminess. Uh, we've been able to use automated online solid phase extraction to simplify the workflow by integrating sample preparation into our LC analysis. By doing this, we've been able to eliminate manual uh, sample preparation steps which are tedious, time consuming, prone to error, that become a bottleneck and we've been able to simplify and automate this in order to get better and more reproducible results. 
So the bottom line is that our solution for online solid phase extraction combines smart hardware with smart software to make your life easier in the lab.